So I thought I would try out a smart Wi-Fi power strip and went onto Amazon and ended up buying a Jaeger branded one which uses the eFamily Cloud app and can work with Google or Alexa. <laughs> You need to download the eFamily Cloud app for your phone and then open up the app and go through the registration process. Once you have done that, you can then add your new device. But it is not as straightforward as that because most modern Wi-Fi routers are 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz and you will need to temporarily disable the 5 GHz signal on your router so your phone, router and new smart device are all on the 2.4 GHz signal. To log in to a TalkTalk router you will need to type in 192.168.1.1 This number may be different on your router. You will then need an administration login and password and mine was written on the back of the router. Once you are logged into the router you can then look for the Wi-Fi settings and turn off the 5 GHz band. Do not touch anything else in the settings and then open back up the eFamily Cloud app. You will now need to get your smart plug device to be ready to pay which is usually a fast flashing light. Sometimes you have to turn the device off and on three times or there may be a reset button. Now try and pay the smart socket. This may need a few attempts. Now you can see the new device and you can give each socket a name. Then you can add what room you have it in. After this you can go to Alexa or Google Home app and link eFamily Cloud. If you already have other devices like a smart bulb with eFamily Cloud then the setup will not find the new smart sockets so you have to sync your devices. I can only show you this in Google. Hey <laughs> Sync my devices. Okay, syncing devices for eFamily Cloud Smart. Now you should be able to see your smart socket and remember to go back into your router and turn back on the 5GHz band. I hope this is of some help and thanks for watching.